Hey everybody, happy 2022. Would have done this video yesterday, but there was a lot going on. This is my stand, which I'm going to take off and put this on to do the rest of the video because I promised you guys I would show you how I arranged those great flowers I got at Kroger for $1.99, which were originally for $12. This is a stand that I got at the Five and Below store for five. So I'm going to take it. What's great about it is it's, it has these bendy legs. How awesome is that? I mean, and that, so I was able to wrap this around here the day that I did the shooter, the launcher. This is my, it's supposed to be my dining table. We had Thanksgiving here, but it's also my work table. I call this my office right here. <clears throat> and then we have um, my handy Bible there. Uh, usually my tools are all over, but I had cleaned them up for, um, for other things. And now I just have my toolbox here and some of my other supplies here. And of course my workbench is in the garage. Tissue for when we do packaging. At any rate, right here, uh, when we're not playing this, I can use this to do things like the launcher that I had made with the little bits and it's still in play as you can see, but I'm going to need my breadboard for some other creations. Still planning on doing a video for, the, for a remote controller that I made for the uh, for the car that I created with little bits. But right now, let's take this on over. I'm gonna make this a short video. You can see how easily this unstraps. So you can extrapolate it to just about anything to get the footage that you need. Um, because as you guys saw before, did the floor. Also, I put a photo of Chloe um, in this right here, this Christmas tree house. Sorry, my house has not been uh, you know, the blankets have not been folded for today. And Chloe likes to also sit on blankets and burrow underneath of them. That one's supposed to be a cat blanket. And clearly I need to do a washing of them all and put fresh blankets down. But my Instagram has a photo of Chloe inside of there and her eyes are adorable. So let's go over here. Still have our stuff up from Christmas. Took care of the plants yesterday. Sometimes I, oh, look, look at my peppers. A lot of the green chilies are red. I'm letting them go red on purpose. Now I might take this one off and roast it just as green, but look at this smaller plant that I thought was not getting enough sun. It has three and they've gone red. These are plants I brought in from outdoors, uh, along with these from my farm store. And of course my parsley, which when I had to be away to help some family, um, it doesn't look as vigorous as it looked before I left, but that is okay. Uh, it will come back because my parsley last year thrived all through the winter and then took a tumble during the spring of all things. Now we did get a freeze last spring, had part of a tree fall, um, didn't do too much damage to the house. So that was good. Here's one of my bouquets I did with those $12 flowers, by the way, and check it out. I'm going to, uh-oh, I didn't just twist my poor little guy at the beginning of my tree farm. This is awesome. I had never, ever seen these before. So I picked it up with my daughter, Kelsey. Um, it's a Christmas greenhouse. Now, as the batteries wear out, we've noticed that the only light that stays lit as the batteries get low is the green, but this has stayed lit for some time. And um, it's just awesome, right? So there's one of the bouquets I did. What happened was I did about three, no, four, four bouquets. So we have this one. We have these two that I did out of those two $1.99 bouquets from Kroger. Now what I do is I don't put in, look at that beautiful yellow inside of the purple. Um, I do not put in their, you know, little packets. They come with those packets. I probably still have some, unless I finally threw them away. Yep, right there. I need to just toss these. 
I am like my dad. I see value in things I don't use and trash because I always have this idea that someone else will use them. Well, guess how many people use this stuff? No one, and it just takes up space. So my New Year's resolution is to let stuff go. If I can't give it away like those, then I will have to toss them. At any rate, <clears throat> instead of putting that in, this is what I do. And I almost don't wanna show this to you because we, we need to redo my kitchen, so I'm not going to show you my, I have rags down there. Okay, I'll show you, it's really bad. I, I get them straightened and then they're not straightened and I cut things for, for specific rags, but I use this in the water. So I will take out my containers that I wanna use and I actually got five total because there's one at the entryway that just has these right here, these pretty flowers here in the entryway and I just put it in a little mason jar. Um, these, by the way, they were Clarence flowers, they were drooping by the time I got them into here. And see, each day you have to kind of deadhead some of this, so this will come off, I'll have to clip it off. Um, but anyhow, these were drooping. I almost tossed them and I thought, no, I have revived plants with um, this, a little bit of this. I just pour, you know, a little bit into the water and it helps the flowers stay um, more vibrant longer. Although clearly this sprayed leaf, they took the greenery, they took, these are not, oh wow, it's really coming off. Okay, so anyhow, I tend to think they're coming off because it was, you can tell the stalks, actual greenery that they spray painted with gold, which is a phenomenal idea because I know I'm not going to want to go spray paint those. I do other projects around the house for spray painting. So if they're going to do it for me, and a $1.99 bouquet, I'm going to take them up on it. But look at how awesome these colors are. This, like I said, was a bouquet before Christmas um, for $12, but then they were clearanced out at $1.99. And Kroger, whoever our Kroger florist is, I about wanna to talk to them and tell them, you know, in person, what a phenomenal job they do. Okay, so now I'm going to take you over. Um, to here and show you very quickly. If I were to set this up to show you, you can take these legs and you can spread them out. So let me lay this down so I can get this in. Okay, so you can spread them out. Um, you can straighten them, you know, it doesn't have to look so uh, <laughs> crazy, although it's kind of cute, right? All right, and then this little device will move around for your phone, and it basically, you can tighten it with this knob here, so I'm going to tighten it, because you don't want, you know, the last thing you want is for your phone to fall out, because we know that None of this stuff is cheap anymore. So then you just attach this into here. Now, I would love to show you how I attach it, but clearly that won't happen. This little metal part, it, it's almost like on a spring. It will raise up and close around your device. And then you about have to like, unless you turn your screen around, which is always really wild. You about have to just put it in there backwards so that you can tape, like once again, my kitchen. I know it needs to be, we haven't done our daily cleaning yet, but there's these. I got these awesome spoons for Christmas. They help me with my salts. And um, when I make bath salts for foot soap salts for people for Christmas, I'm going to be making some more of those because we have another Christmas to do with some family members that uh, got very sick and they're still recovering. So as soon as their home is, uh, as soon as things are a little calmer, we're going to go have, my family gets to go have Christmas with them too. But this great picture matches the glassware I finally started collecting over the summer because I had needed new glasses for a long time. And um, just like I had needed knives for years, like a nice quality set, and we just made do with what we had and we were fine, but those are nice. Okay, so now that I've got this in my little stand, I am going to go upstairs. So 
you probably don't want to see all of my work areas. So I'm gonna try to avoid some of those. And how awesome is this? This is the hologram. Okay, now I'm going to take you upstairs. And my stairs need vacuuming, so perhaps I'll just raise it up to the wall. <laughs> This was a frame that I got for this bathroom for over a medicine cabinet, and we're not sure we'll do that. This is where my other bouquet of flowers is. That's why I'm taking you here. This bathroom was redone, and I might link the video um, recently, like just the other day it was finished. Okay, that is not cool, because there was nothing here before. And you know how it is. Until we get everything moved in, you wanna keep it like it's pristine and new, even though once everybody's stuff is moved in, it won't look so great. So that's what this video is really for. It's for me to remember how crisp and wonderful it looked when it was new. So um, we got this on sale a long time ago. We were going to use it for our master bath, which has needed to be done since we moved in. And that's going to be done next. Um, but anyhow, look at how awesome the drawers are. Um, obviously just for a show. And then had to do, this plumbing had to be done differently to fit, but what a fine job he did on this. Um, Nate did all of this work. This was the original floor in our house downstairs or in the main level downstairs before it was pulled up. The people who had lived here before had had some flooding issues, so it had to be pulled up um, due to, you know, trying to prevent mold problems. So these pieces were saved, and then what Nate did was he sanded each piece down to, you know, the nice natural wood color because it had like an oak stain on it or well it is oak but it had that had that you know medium wood stain on it and so i told him i wanted the natural trim so he put in natural trim that just has the polyurethane and then as far as this goes right here look at that neat job on the caulk clear caulk you can see it around this awesome vanity clear and how how just perfect it is perfect but he also does amazing work on the paint job no tape at the top um just the right brushes of course this light we still have to work on i found this light i found this light at um home depot and uh they are the only ones that carry this particular light what we're going to do is put lower wattage bulbs in them i would love the edison bulbs but not sure if we're going to be able to do that. Also, we were going to put the original mirror back in here and he was going to do some wood trim around this because he did that with one of the bathroom mirrors we took out in a main level bathroom that was redone and he framed it to put above the fireplace. But this one, um, we were going to do that and I decided I loved the idea of the round because everything else in here is more rectangular. So to put in you know, another shape for more elements. And then these are just, these are actually from Amazon. Um, I had looked for curtains in other places, but they simply had the best deal. So um, wanted something more earthy looking. So that's why I got linen. Uh, this bathtub was completely redone. There were some pipe issues, um, a story to tell there that I probably only tell family members. <laughs> Um, he had to get new shower head. We picked out all of this new. And the reason that is that way and looking a little more elaborate is because when they first built this house, they did it stock and they did not put the proper uh, wood behind there for framing to put your pipe and everything into. So it actually rattled. It rattled and made terrible, like high pitched noises sometimes when people were showering. And we all just dealt with it because, you know, what else can you do, right? <laughs> Until um, the time was available to do a uh, remodel. These doors, these doors, um, the way you can clean them well, um, we found out was by using steel wool. These look almost new now. None of this is new. This was original to the house, but it looks new due to the steel wool. Same for the glass. Now in here, you can see the wood trim, the natural wood trim. They used to have painted, it was white, so it wasn't bad. It was, you know, kind of like this door frame here. Um, they used the 
A lot of times I'll use the nice molding, but everything in here just needed to be redone. The wall used to be gray, which I like gray, but they had this um, texture to it and my girls never liked it. So we always planned on redoing it and thank God we got it redone. There's more space over here and I still have to buy a new trash can, so this looks terrible, but there's more space than what was originally in here in the stock home because the counter went out to about, I wanna say here, so we were all having a discussion. Do we get a floor paper towel holder uh, that, you know, is iron and you can hold more uh, toilet paper in? Or do we go with something on the wall? Well, back here would be weird when people are trying to use the restroom. We don't really want it on this main wall back here because it's the entry when it's a small bathroom. So when you come into it, uh, you know, we just wanna see the towel hook that we're going to put here. We're going to put something here that's simple that will match this with some of the, the black accents and it will have hooks on it for the towels, which is convenient. It's right by the bathtub. And then um, anyhow, we don't want the toilet paper thing there. We just want the rest of this wall clear. So then we decided even though we love this piece and we are attached to it for some reason, I think because we have bought it a long time ago on sale and we love everything about it. Um, like I said, originally for our bathroom, but we decided it works better in here. Um, we're going to have to attach is our only possibility, unless any of you have any other ideas for the toilet paper holder. I know they sell some that you can attach back here, but we're, we're not liking that. We're thinking here is the spot, even though it's more of a reach than people were used to, because like I said, that counter used to be here. Okay, I have told you way more about this bathroom than I meant to, but Nate even updated, if you'll notice, he updated uh, this. And so it has a plug-in for your device, which I said, great, because I'm not big on people having phones in the bathroom, even though I know, I hear them when I go to public restrooms, everyone's on their device. Everyone's, sometimes I think people are talking to me because I was used to like people being like living in the moment a long time ago and conversing with one another. And if someone looked at you or was talking and nobody else was around, you assumed it was you, no. I have finally figured out, don't always assume, even if they're looking at you and kind of smiling and they're talking, don't always say, I'm sorry, what was that? Or think that they're talking to you when they're laughing about something because they're generally on their device. You can't even see it. It will be, you know, their earpiece or their Bluetooth and they'll be talking. So once again, I've told you way more than I expected to tell you. Um, the towel thing, it, we used to dry hands over here because this has the handy dandy towel thing, but we're trying to keep it clear. Plus we want to keep the floor nice. This has been polyurethane several times. So people will have to, um, instead of turning here and, you know, tracing water, even though it's a small space, we want to keep the floor nice. We got this stand. This was at that uh, store that we have. That's a Texas store or they, they're based in Texas and they have started expanding a home store. But this ended up matching very nicely the, the metal to the plates that Nate put on. So he even went in and it took him quite a while. He had to, they didn't wire these very well. It was very thin. He clipped apart a, um, you know, like a power protector device that he was no longer using and got the wiring from there and rewired this because he needed something that was heavy duty enough to do it, to make sure that it stays, you know, nice, um, not being a fire hazard as it wasn't really before, it was just very thin the way they had done it. And like I said before, this, these are, you know, track homes, stock homes. So um, sometimes they're, you know, they're, they're, they're meaning to do a good job, but things like this where, you know, things aren't really level in here and you can tell if you're doing work in here and you see a wider point at the bottom than at the top, and then you're trying to make everything look appropriate, <laughs> I guess is the best way to put it. Now, once we got this done, my daughter was wanting to put her organizer back up here. Well, as a mom, you can imagine what I said. I said, but there's drawers. And then she pointed out to me, well, in your bathroom, mom, your organizer's on your counter. And I said, yes, but when dad redoes my bathroom, 
I'm getting rid of most of my stuff and it's just going in a drawer. <laughs> and I will hold myself to that because I want my bathroom to stay clear like this one. Okay, I'll show you really fast since I've already gone this deep into it. Now, I like this idea because we were not liking the medicine cabinet. So, um, I mean, we like the idea and the efficiency of a medicine cabinet. So I hate to open this because we haven't cleared this out. This was for my daughter in college. So this is all going to be cleared out and go to her. <laughs> and she's probably going to throw half of this away, right? But uh, I, I try to make it a habit of not just tossing their stuff, of letting them decide if they wanna toss it. But I was thinking of taking all of this out and leaving the shelves clear, maybe coming up with something in here to make it look nicer, you know, um, or just leave it. I mean, these are plastic, this part, but I kind of wanted to take this part, this mirror off. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but I wanted to blend it in some and maybe come up with leaving it open and neat, not much in it, except very neat organizers and put like framing on it. But we're not sure we're going to do that. So that's a thought. And then if you guys have any ideas for dealing with medicine cabinets that you don't want to completely take out, you want to leave them there for more storage, but still have them look nice, please let me know in the comments. All right, so there's my other flower arrangement, which is what I came in here to begin with. But clearly um, we love this bathroom because <laughs> Every time Nathan does something in our house, he does an amazing job. And you always know it's going to be great, but it still ends up even better than you thought. Unfortunately, this flower is starting to wilt a little. And I thought I may not have put the hydrogen peroxide in here like I did the others, because when I did this bouquet, I was just so excited to get it in here because I knew all these vibrant colors, no matter what vibrant color we put in here, it's going to look amazing against this green wall. And I picked this color. I was allowed to pick the shade. We both like greens, but normally I wouldn't pick this shade of green. It's not like it's my favorite color or anything, but I wanted something that looked natural. And this, on this camera or on this video, I can tell it's not picking up the exact shade of green. It's more of an earthy green, like a very light plant earthy green. And it looks, I can tell it looks kind of almost mint on here. But one last shot at this amazing, amazing because I love I love like natural wood I used to use it in my signs um see there all of that which I might start doing signs again I don't know and look this awesome awesome trim that he found oak to go to to do the final part and he made this too this is also oak and laid it out perfectly so and then of course if you want last shot of the floor okay Thanks for watching, guys. Why doesn't it want to stop? I think it might be because it's in this delay.